All right, welcome back to Oddly Satisfying. You know, I've never actually read the definition over here of what oddly satisfying actually means. It's very deep, subjective, indefinable, completely recognizable. It's a wonderful feeling. And that's what all of these posts are supposed to make you feel like, a completely recognizable yet indefinable feeling. So with that said, we'll start off down here with popping an underground water bubble which sounds like it would fit all those criteria. Wait, it's like, it's like a grassy version of the popping subreddit. Oh, I bet you if I went over to the popping subreddit right now, this is the top post for the month on there. <laughs> if you haven't gone to the popping subreddit before, I've never looked through it on a video because it's not so much a thing for everyone. I happen to find it very satisfying, oddly satisfying, you could say, but it might also be something a lot of people find really gross. So um, if you are someone easily grossed out, don't bother with it, but this is, wow, very satisfying. That's amazing. These waves, it almost looks like blown glass. I wonder how many tries it took to get that photo. Probably not as many tries as it takes for me to get a good selfie. And have I ever really taken a good selfie? Probably not. It's just I get to a point where I'm like, all right, I've taken so many that I guess one of these has to be acceptable. But I digress. That's pretty cool. Good job, Jason Fenmore. Instagram Odagyo. It's a pretty cool, satisfying photo. I want to skate that. Except the problem is it's water. So surfing it would be the better alternative, but I can't surf because I'm terrified of water. So smoothing out the inside of a cherry wood bowl. Dude, it's like a, it's like a, a pottery wheel, except it's not for pottery, it's, it's for wood. Huh, that's a thing, that's pretty cool. Dude, I was always fascinated with pottery wheels growing up, how you can just put your finger in and you like drag your finger up and it starts to shape the entire thing as it's, oh, it's so cool. I've never actually used a pottery wheel though. My stepdad did a lot of pottery when I was younger. So I saw him do it like a couple times and he used to make some cool stuff but I never got to be hands-on with a pottery wheel and I always thought it'd be super cool. I wonder why he did it in that those steps instead of just kind of hollowing the thing out in one fell swoop from the very beginning. But anyway, that was cool to watch. Making a Freddie Mercury sculpture. In case you do not know, Freddie Mercury, singer and queen. Um, this is actually kind of bizarre. Oh God, that's horrifying. You actually st <laughs> Jesus Christ, I don't like it. I don't like it. Not not like this. Uh, wow, there's a full-on skeleton underneath the skin of this thing. All you're missing is like, you add a circulatory and, and muscular system. And then if, oh, if you cut open the toy, it'll be like a real anatomically correct human. Oh God, so far I'm like, uh, I'm a little creeped out by this, but Okay, it's starting to echo. Now you just put it on the stick figure body. This is so weird. This is so weird. It's really cool and I respect the art, but so I need it to be further along. You're you're giving him an autop. That's a butt. You're, you're putting a butt on him. Okay, now we're... Oh my god. Fabulous. <laughs> uh, okay. Is that a, a mic? Wow, very detailed shoes. Okay, that's cool. I'm still a little bit freaked out. All right, you're draping the wife beater over. All right, that's now we're a little bit less bizarre. That's good. See, it's interesting. You you made everything so anatomically correct, but then you just drape clothing over it. Not that I was like wanting for the statue to not have clothing, but I'm saying it's a lot of detail only to then cover it up with like another layer of your clay or whatever you make. Well, there you go. Freddie Mercury. I wonder if these are like sold on Etsy or something. It seems like a lot of work. They must be kind of pricey. It turned out pretty cool. The beginning was just a little bit terrifying. This Instagram user's page. That seems like you would kind of get limited with things that you could take shots of. Just imagine, oh man, this thing that I'm running into in real life is really cool. I'd love to take a photo of it and share it with everyone who follows me on Instagram, but it doesn't fit the perfect diagonal line down the middle separating two different textures thing. I guess I can't post it. Darn. Here is his page. Let's give him a hug. In Juxtis. Hey, still sticking to it, by the way. Some of these photos weren't on the, uh, on the thing. 
That's clever. Clever use of a curb, table, a shadow even. Wow. Oh, very, very clever work right there. Northern Lights just outside. I'm seeing some like greenish reflections on the wall. Oh, there we go. That's cool. Never gotten to see those in person, but then again, I never travel. One of these days, I'm gonna. Dude, how cool would that be? Just to. Oh, yeah, let me just look out my window. Oh, yeah, the sky's all green and shimmery. Ha! Huh. Yeah, just a, an average Thursday night out here in Iceland. Something like that. Wherever you are. Northern Sweden, Northern Norway, Finland. Any of those places, anywhere super north because northern lights, yeah, coins. This actually looks really cool just from the thumbnail. I'll be honest, it actually looks even cooler in the thumbnail. Like if you, if you squint at it, it goes back to looking kind of like it did at a low resolution. I must look like a total idiot right now. Go ahead, send me all the still screenshots of me looking like this. I'm sure it'll be really good, good and attractive. I wonder how long that took to set up. Now what do you do? You just leave it there for... Weeks? No, I swear, I, I'm I'm not making a mess, I just thought that this looked cool. Yeah, yeah, it, it took like 10 hours to set it up. I was bored, what can I say? I had nothing else to do. It, dude, it looks even cooler at a lower resolution though. Look at that in the thumb, thumbnail, right there. That looks gnarly. A freshly groomed ski slope. I feel like we've seen this one before. Possibly on this subreddit, possibly on another subreddit. I don't know, maybe it was reposted, very possible. I feel like you, uh, you're wasting too much time taking photos. Someone's just gonna blow by you and ruin your potential for fresh tracks. Even though, is it really fresh tracks if you're on a groomer? It's kind of only fresh tracks if it's like, just a lot of pow came in, you're off in the back country, then it's fresh tracks. But this is still, dude, it's, it's real fun to just bomb down a groomer. What can I say? What can I say? You purists out there are gonna be like, psh, you scrub bombing down groomers. That's so amateur, but uh, dude, it's fun to go fast and not have to worry about running into a tree. What can I say? I need to go snowboarding this year. I'm planning, I will mark my words, it's gonna happen, because I didn't last year, and I need to fix that. That I do. This burnt piece of wood. Hmm. You know, I don't mean to be skeptical of everything on the internet, but honestly, that almost looks like it was painted to look that way. It's just too vibrant orange, and too crisp, and too, like, it's too good. It looks too good. Is that really just something you threw into a fire and then pulled out and it just turned into that? Just this brilliant orange painted looking thing? Hey, hey, if it's legit, then it's legit. I'll eat my words, but it, lo it looks cool at the very least. It almost looks even cooler in the thumbnail. Like, it's just, it's glowing. A washed and blow dried cow. Another, another, is this, is this real? Is this real too? It looks like, I don't know, uh, one of those dog breeds that's like super fluffy. It's like a Pomeranian that just got blow dried and groomed for a show. I've seen a lot of cows in my life actually. My grandma has a, a, a parcel on a ranch. And so we'd go every few weeks when I was growing up. Saw a lot of cows and none of them ever looked like that. Putting a camera under a faucet opens up a new dimension. I wonder how many blocks of obsidian you need in order to build the portal to the new dimension. Um. So, oh wow, that's actually really cool. I was like, in the beginning, it was just like, all right, that's water falling from a faucet. Nothing too exciting about that here. It looks pretty normal to me. And then taking things to a whole nother level. I kind of want to try that. Sticking a GoPro under a faucet and see what happens. All right, I got to try that at some point. Raking leaves. Oh, I love this. I love that you just took the frame from you in the middle of the walking path and then, oh, wow. That's cool. I like that. You're like the Luke Skywalker of using the force to rake leaves. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Raking leaves is, is a thing that you hear so much associated with fall. I've never had to rake leaves in my entire life because LA, Southern California, we don't, we don't really get that fall season. We don't really get seasons. Other than it being 100 degrees in November. Yeah, late October. I guess it just started November. Yeah, it was, it was 100 plus degrees in late October, which is kind of weird. It's it's a little bit a little bit too toasty for my taste. Heat sensitive edition of the book Fahrenheit 451. It's cool. 
but also seems uh, completely impractical for many reasons. <laughs> First off, does it go back to blacking out again once the heat wears off? Or is this a one-time thing? Also, while you're holding that flame, the angle, it's like you're gonna start burning your finger. Also, if it is reversible, you're gonna be, you have to <laughs> hold the flame over for every line you wanna read, and then, ah, shoot, it's been 30 seconds, now I can't read again. Well, damn. Like, what do you do with this? Yeah, sure, it looks cool, but it's just like, oh, and then, ah, shoot, I just lit the book on fire. Damn, didn't mean to do that. I'm like, what's the point of this? The KFC Twitter account follows 11 people, five Spice Girls, and six guys named Herb. That, that it does. I'd love to find the context for this. Fun fact, a copy of the secret recipe signed by Sanders is held in a safe inside a vault in KFC's Louisville headquarters along with 11 vials containing the herbs and spice. Oh! Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's really smart. So the recipe for all KFC stuff includes 11 herbs and spices. I wonder if it's specifically six herbs and five spices. And I would, like this dude down here, Herb Alpert, they're all verified herbs, so they must be very important herbs. I don't know any of them, but they must be important. I wonder if he, being the first person to get followed by KFC, looks at his phone, he gets the notification, KFC has followed you. He's like, God damn it. He goes to their page expecting that they follow five million people and they just have a bot spamming to follow so that people get the notification and it's free advertisement for them. And he's like, wait, they only follow me? Why does KFC only follow me? And then he must, he's got to DM them. And then he's got to be like, yo, as the only person you follow, can I just get free KFC for life? That's the only proper way to respond to the situation. I've also, I've never eaten KFC. Yeah, I don't know how much I'd take advantage of the lifetime supply thing, but that's also a thing. Like verified accounts to have a bot that follow a bajillion people and then you get the notification and then you go to their profile and they follow 50 million people. You're like, oh, it's great guys, thanks. You just wanted to get me to follow you back. That's the entire point. No, I'm not gonna follow you back, blocked. That's what you do. It's what you do. There's a certain threshold above which you can't possibly actually use your feed because you follow too many people and you just, oh man, it's a, sorry, it's a pet peeve of mine. Loading the same app on three devices with a delay. Okay. Is this a, an advertisement for X-Flag Barbecue? Is that what it said, BBQ? I love my X-Flag Barbecue game. Whoa, okay, that is pretty cool. That's actually really cool. That's not what I expected going into things. But wait, he loads them in like a different order. See, that's weird. You would think that like you would do it from right to left in order for that to happen, but, but you don't do it from, you did it in like a weird order. You did it left, right, middle? Which means the phones load the application at different speeds. This, what, that's bizarre. Why did, all right, so really this is just a performance demonstration of load times on. I wonder if this was actually like a performance demonstration and it just so happened to work out like that and the dude was like, oh my God, I've just created a masterpiece. All right, that was brilliant. I love it. Every Phoenix Suns player starts running at the same moment. Dude, I saw this on Twitter. Well, look at the white jerseys. Look at the white jer- Oh my God. And then you finish it with a bucket. That it just can't get any more satisfying than that. Just straight to a dunk. Are you serious? It's so good. And you just, you're like, how how interesting could a bunch of people running at the same time be? They just, it's all completely synchronized. I don't even know if they, do they use the same foot to step forward? You guys are all on the same wavelength. You practice together so much that you actually have become clones of each other. Like that's what happens when you practice so much as, as, as a team is you're all just, you're all interconnected on the same wavelength. That's why professional sports teams are so good because they can telepathically communicate with each other. They're one hive mind. That's great, that's great. And then straight to the bucket. God, it's so good. All right, well that is certainly a good way to wrap up our oddly satisfying uh, posts of the month. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you liked or were satisfied. And uh, subscribe if you're not already. And uh, if you wanna check out more videos like this, there's a playlist in the description. 
And also, oh yeah, I forgot to mention at the beginning, but there is a new vlog that went up a couple days ago if you want to, uh, you know, go and watch that. Uh, it's linked below and in the outro. I'll see you next time. Um, just, oh, no, no.